قولا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما Dear brothers and sisters <laughs> after praising all mighty Allah and sending salutations upon the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam I advise all of you including myself to fear all mighty Allah as he should be feared and I pray to all mighty Allah that he make the path of taqwa easy for all of us dear brothers and sisters <laughs> people see their dreams and many times these dreams are true and sometimes they are from shaitan <laughs> if you see something good You should ask Almighty Allah to make it good. And you should not tell everybody about your dream. You should just keep to yourself. Not only that, but if you need to tell somebody if some dream you are seeing again and again or something is bothering you again and again if you need to tell somebody you should just narrate to him what you have seen without including anything from in it if you include something in your dream allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might change the effect of the dream and if something is good you should thank allah and you always make dua to allah that it make it true for you and if something you have seen which is disturbing you so just ask allah to protect you from it <coughs> and if you change things allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might change the reality of the dream but dreams are the truth but they do not change the ahkamat of the deen if somebody see in a dream that almighty allah appears to him he said you don't you no longer need to perform the salat you are very close to me so you don't have to pray this dream is from shaitan the dream cannot change the ahkamat of the religion we have to be really clear about it that many people they take the ahkamat of the religion from the dreams no that's wrong you cannot do that at all yes you can see something good glad tiding that some business is going to perform very well or you are going to have to have the children or your children are going to get married or so on and so forth or somebody is getting the baby or somebody is going to die you can see these things and they are the truth you cannot deny it because it ha- used to happen at the time of the prophet of allah peace be and many people narrate the dreams of the many shaykh or the scholars or the pious people and they try to change the fundamentals of the religion remember this the dream cannot change the fundamentals of religion the ahkamat of the religion are from the prophet of allah peace be upon him nobody can change it at all oh beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam after salatul fajr he used to ask people hal ra'a minkum al yawm al ru'ya is there anybody of you who have seen the dream today two people used to narrate the dream <coughs> to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he used to explain to them what is the meaning of the dream and many people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed his mercy upon them they are able to understand the dream not everybody can understand the dream so don't narrate to everybody there are people with their experience with their piety with their closeness to almighty allah they are able to understand the dreams so don't narrate to everybody but if you need to narrate narrate to the person who is trustworthy who is pious who is closer to almighty allah and narrate to him as our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to ask and as the friends of yusuf alaihi salatu wasallam has said to him that nabbina bi ta'wili give us the explanation of the dream inna naraka min al 
muhsinin indeed we see you among the pious people this is general something about the dream but today i'm going to narrate to you the dream of our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it is really important dream and it affect each and every individual of us this dream is narrated in sahih al bukhari and the dream the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked people is there anybody who saw the dream tonight nobody replied so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said lakin ra'aytu al-layla but i have seen the dream tonight fasmi'u minni listen to me Many different hadiths, I'll collect all of them to bring all the picture of this dream. But the main hadith is in Bukhari and Muslim as well. So the Prophet wasallam said, Last night, two people came to me in my dream. And they told me, let's move, proceed from here. So I started walking with them. When I started walking with them, I came to a man rajulun mustaji'un wa idha akharun qa'imun alayhi bisakhra a person who is lying down and another person standing next to his head having a huge stone in his hand I have seen this person and this person the one who has the stone in his hand all of a sudden he throws the stone on the head of the person with full power fayas lahu ra'sahu he throws and injures his head and he throws with the power fayatahad hadul hajar ha huna by the power of the throw the stone bounce back and it goes very far over there so man goes towards the stone and he get that stone back <coughs> so when he bring that back this person who got completely injured by the time he come back this person get to its original proper position back to the normal and then he come and he does the same thing again and this was repeating again and again and again in the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the most merciful he said subhanallah what is this who are these two people so angel said intaqa proceed move forward they did not explain to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and then they went forward when they went forward so they came to another person ala rajulin مستلق لقفاه a person who is lying to his back on the floor they came to the person wa aqar qa'im alayhi bi kullub min hadid and the person standing next to him and he had a hook of iron in his hand a hook of uh, it is not the knife by the way it is hook of iron bi kullub in the hook the question one this is the one. and then this person what he does he takes this kalub he takes this hook and fa idha huwa ya'ti ahada shiqqi wajhihi he comes and he put that in one of his mouth one of the side of his mouth fa yushir shiru shidqahu and he started pulling it so hard that it started tearing it it's not cutting it it is tearing it ila qafa until it reaches to its back towards the neck and then wa man khirahu and he put on his one of his nozzles and he pulls until it goes back again wa aina and his eyes ila qafa until it goes back to its back the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam looked at that seen and he said subhanallah who are these people so the two men said to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam move forward proceed so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam move forward and one of the thing mentioned in this place it is when he does one side 
Then he go back to another side. And he does the same thing. By the time he finished with the second end, the other side, the first side get back to its normal. فَيَتَحْسُمَّ يَتَحَوَّلُ إِلَى الْجَانِبِ الْآخَرِ He moves to the, again, فَيَفْعَلُ بِهِ مِسْلَ مَا فَعَلَ الْمَرَّةُ الْأُولَى He does the same thing as he has done the first time. So he does this part, he moves to another side part, and when he finished, by the time he finished, just get back to normal. And then he come back to this side and he does again. And it is going on and going on and going on. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save all of us. And then those two people said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa proceed, move forward. He moved. So he came to an oven, the tanur, the oven, in which you make the bread. A huge tunnel. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the other people, they look inside their own. The two people and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They look inside. So all of a sudden, فَإِذَا فِيهِ لَغَةٌ وَأَسْوَاتٌ All of a sudden, a huge noises and voices are coming from that tunnel. فَاتَّلَعْنَا فِيهِ we look inside. فَإِذَا فِيهِ رِجَالٌ وَنِسَاءٌ أُرَاتٌ All of a sudden what we see, the naked men and women inside. فَإِذَا فَإِذَا هُمْ يَأْتِهِمْ لَهَبٌ مِّنْ أَسْفَلٍ مِّنْهُمْ And all of a sudden, a flame of the fire comes from underneath. And they all shout, فَإِذَا أَتَاهُمْ ذَلِكَ اللَّهَبْ When this flame comes, زَوْ زَوْ They shout and they cry out loud. Prophet Sallallahu said the same thing, Subhanallah, who are these people? So the two men said, move forward. And they move forward. When they move forward, they came up to a river. فَإِذَا عَلَى نَهْرَ All of a sudden they were up a river. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explained and he said, أَحْمَرْ مِثْلَ الدَّمْ That river was not the river of water, it was red like blood. It was like the blood. فَإِذَا فِي النَّهْرِ لَرْجِلٌ سَابِحٌ يَسْبَحُ And all of a sudden I see one person inside, he's swimming in that river. He's struggling, he's swimming. And another person, فَإِذَا عَلَى شَبْتِ النَّهَرْ رَجِلٌ At the corner of the nahar, corner of that river, there is another person. قَدْ جَمَعَ إِنْدَهُ حِجَارَةٌ كَثِيرًا He has collected lots and lots of stone next to him. So what this person is doing, he's swimming and he's coming closer to that person who is at the edge of the river. So all of a sudden, he opens his mouth and he takes one of the stone and he pushes so far, he goes away and then he swims and he comes back. And he's doing again and again and again. Completely unusual things. So the Prophet ﷺ asked them, Subhanallah, what is this? So they said, move forward, interlink, interlink, move forward, proceed, proceed, don't ask questions, just see and move forward, move forward. The Prophet ﷺ moved forward. And they came to the person. They came to the person, Kalihi al-Mir'ah. The person who has disgusting face. Very repulsive appearance. And how repulsive and how disgusting he is? The hadith of the Prophet says, A disgusting face you have ever seen and imagined in your life. Very repulsive. The appearance was very, very bad. You can imagine the worst, he was worse than that. So the Prophet وسلم, saw him. وَإِذَا عِنْدَهُ نَارٌ يَحُشُّهَا He is next to a big huge fire and he is kindling that fire. He is literally in this fire. He's, he is fueling that fire to make it bigger and bigger. And وَيَسْعَ حَوْلَ He is running around of that fire to make it ready for something from all around it. So the Prophet ﷺ asked them, Who is this? Subhanallah, what is this? 
So they said, interleg, interleg, move forward, proceed, proceed. And they move forward. And then all of a sudden they come to ala rawdatin mu'tammatin min kulli nawri rabi. They came all of a sudden to a deep, dense garden full of vegetation. And all sorts of spring colors were there in the garden. Very beautiful garden. All sorts of beautiful spring colors are there. And all of a sudden they said, Rajulun <coughs> Tawil, they saw a huge, a very, very, very tall man. And the Prophet said, He was so tall that لا أكاد أرى رأسه من طوله من طوله. I could not see his face because of his tallness, and it was reaching towards the heaven. It was that much tall. And when the حول الرجل and all around that man, there were so many children that I never saw that many children ever. And then. They asked me to move forward. I moved forward. And I came to another <coughs> majestic garden. Again, a huge, big garden. Rawdatin Alima Lam Ara Rawdatan Kattu A'adam Minha Wala Ahsan. I never saw a better and beautiful garden than that, that one. And they said to me, Arqa Fiha. Get inside that garden. That get inside that garden. So the Prophet went inside. And then they found a great city over there. A great city. The city which was built with the bricks, one brick was gold and another was silver. One was gold and another was silver. And they reached to the door of that city. And then they knocked the door. And it was open for them. And when they opened that, the Prophet wasallam saw people. Rijalun. Shatrun min khalqihim ka ahsani ma anta ra'i. He saw a few people, half of them, the people, half of the body of the person, <coughs> the physical body of the person, half of it, ka ahsani. The best thing ever you have seen. And the rich, the other half, the disgusting you have ever seen. So half of the person, half of it is really good, and another half is really evil. And then there was a river flowing. So it has been commanded to the people, move forward and jump in that river. They all jumped inside the river. And when they come back, When they came out, the evil part has vanished. And they become the most beautiful and the handsome people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of us from that. And then, they informed the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They said, هَذِهِ جَنَّةُ عَدْمِ this is the paradise of Adam, by the name of Adam, the, the part of the paradise, by the name of Adam. This is the Adam. And then they said, وَهَذَا manziluk," And this is your house. So Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, فَسَمَا بَسَرَهُ سُعَدَىٰ The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi looked towards his front. All of a sudden, فَإِذَا قَصْرٌ مِثْلُ رُبَابَةِ الْبَيْضَىٰ all of a sudden he saw a huge beautiful palace white like a cloud big huge so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam thanked them and he said let me get inside so they said no 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 alan no 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 but you are going to get inside one day so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he asked them Thank you very much. You took me for a whole night here and there. Who are you? And what was those all things I have seen? So they said, we are the angels. 
We are the angels, Jibreel and Mikael alayhi salatu wasalam. And then they said, Amma inna sanukhbiruk. Now we will shortly inform you what was those all things which you have seen in your dream. Inshallah, in the second khutbah we will hear that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our hearts to accept the truth and Allah save us from the punishment. In Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah wa ala ma wa ala ma ba'd. Dear brothers, we are talking about the dream of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the dream started with the person who was lying down and another person having a huge stone in his hand and he was throwing the stone on the head of the person, injuring him and he was throwing it so harder that the stone bounced and it went so far so the man went behind it to get that stone and by the time he was bringing it back this person was getting back to its normal position so the angel said about this person فَإِنَّهُ الرَّجِلُ يَأْخُذُ الْقُرْآنِ this is the person who knows the Quran So the Prophet said, This is the person who knows the Quran and he neglected it. The people of the Quran who do not practice the Quran. And this is the person, Yanamu Ali Salat al Maktubah. He sleeps from his obligatory prayers. Dear brothers, think about ourselves. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those who read the Quran and he act according to the Quran. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us those who establish the prayer. And then the angels explain about the second person. The one who was ripping and tearing the mouth of the person, his nose of the person, and eyes of the person until the back. So the angels inform, <clears throat> they say, فَإِنَّهُ الرَّجُلُ This is the man, يَغْضُ مِنْ بَيْتِهِ In the morning he leaves his house, فَيَكْذِبُ الْكِذِبَةِ And he lies about the person. تَبْلُغُ الْآفَاقِ He spread all over the world. He sends the rumors about others, lies about the others. You want to think about this. These days it is easily possible. It reached the entire world. This modern technology, Facebook and WhatsApp. Every day we forward the things which are might be lies. And what could be the most evil lie than lying about the Prophet Muhammad that you are sending the hadith which are not proof from the Prophet Muhammad. And then the men and women who are in the tanur, the, the angels said, These are the people. These are the people who commit the adultery, men and women. And the dream of the Prophet is the proof. They will be in the, in the tanur, in the fire. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us. And the one who was swimming in the river of the blood is the one who eats usually riba in crest. Who is involved in interest. He is the one who was swimming in the river of blood. And then 
the person, the disgusting person, who have very bad face and appearance. He is fa'innahu malikun. His name is Malik. Khazinu jahannam. He is the gatekeeper of the hellfire. Dear brothers, it has been narrated that he was the most handsome angel. And since Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appointed him upon the hellfire, he became the most evil, dis or evil appearance anybody could have. Because of the punishment of the hellfire, he has seen the all. And then, the long person. <coughs> In the garden, he was Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. The tall one was Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. And the children who were around him, they were the children who die upon the fitrah. Before hitting the age of puberty, they die upon the fitrah. So Muslims ask, O Prophet of Allah, what about the children of disbelievers, the mushriks? They die on the fitrah. They did not have any religion. So the Prophet wasallam said, Wa mushrikin. And indeed, the children of the mushrik, they will be with Ibrahim wasallam in the Jannah. And then, those people who have half of their body was beautiful, handsome, and another half was <coughs> the most evil you could imagine. These are the people, khalatu amalan saliha. These are the people who mix their actions with the evil actions. They have good and bad, both in them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his mercy, he'll forgive them. Dear brothers, think about this dream. Every part of this dream concerning us. It has something for us. Pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah save us from his punishment. Indeed, Allah is most merciful. But when it comes to punishment, he is shadidul aqab as well. He is the most severe in his punishment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save all of us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those who follow the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusallun ala nabi ayu al-ladina amun sallu alayhi wa sallim al-aslim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad kama salli ta'ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim anna ka hamidun majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad kama barik ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim anna ka hamidun majid. عباد الله رحمة الله رحمة الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغض يعيدكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله وادعوه يستجيب لكم ولا ذكر الله يكفر وقيل الشهر